prove to me that by alibying her, you're alibying yourself. Why would I need an alibi? Twins out of the way. You gain most from the settlement. Are you insane? That yeah, Jerry's still out on that one. The man who became a TV favorite as the intense detective on Law and Order Criminal Intent is all over the big screen these days in movies like the thriller Run All Night with the fabulous Liam Neeson and the upcoming summer blockbuster Jurassic World. Please welcome the most wonderful man, Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> Is not on the cards. You are one of the most highly respected actors huh. in the business. Oh, thank you. Yes, you are. And I love everything that you do. And you have always been consistent, but right now you are on a winning streak, honey. You yeah. know? Uh, and, and I just want to say that you play a cop so convincingly on, on television, and you're going to do so as well in the new uh, Run, all Run, Run All Night with Liam Neeson. Did you ever want to become a police officer? No. Never. <laughs> No, I have a lot of friends that are police officers, and they're great guys and girls, but no, not me. They do the running in to buildings, I do the running out. You have a police stunt double? Like yeah. a stunt double who takes the bullet for you? You're like, yeah. stunt double, a come stunt on double in. That holds, yeah. holds my gun for me, okay. has my holster on. Well, let's take a look, yeah. a, a, a peek at your new action film, Run All Night with Liam Neeson. I got 15 witnesses that say you ran a cop car at Jamaica Avenue, killing an officer while your son killed his partner. We're the only cop I can trust. There's no way out this time. And I'm pretty sure that I can find a witness that says your boy did it. Tell me what you want. Names. All of them. Every life you took. Every family you ruined. You give me that. Then maybe I'll listen to your son. Not yet. I need to take care of a few facts. Turn yourself in. You drank coffee, Harding? Yeah. Six cups a day for the last 30 years. Put in a little extra sugar. It's gonna be a long night. I guess the first question everyone in the audience and I have is, what is Liam Neeson's cell phone number? Um, <laughs> ladies, you're welcome. But the, really, the second question I have is that there are a lot of bullets in this movie. It's pretty violent. Uh, what do your kids think about you kind of being in movies like this? Well, I, this one is questionable whether they're going to... I know my 22-year-old girl will see it. Layla will see it. Um, the 14-year-old and the 7-year-old, I don't know about that. Because it does have a big body count, you know? So, that's... But Jurassic World... Oh, they are. Look at that. This is on oh, really oh, oh, that that was that? Look so at that. So, my wife started this thing where she goes online and she gets the, the most horrible Christmas outfits. Yes. <laughs> I do it. Yeah. I oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. I do do you that. post them? No, I... I I just feel like they they do it and they do it like this. So I don't feel like I can really expose them. But yeah, I do that to my family yeah. every year. And the year. dog too, because we got our dog. The cat has a little outfit, you oh, know. Very yes, nice. but he doesn't like it. No, no the dog is very it's a whole they thing. Yeah, unhappy. they don't like it. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, your son looks thrilled, by the way. Look yeah. at his little face. Yeah. He is yeah, absolutely the over the moon. Yeah, yeah they You're you know they want me to ask you if you are happy you're playing a good guy or a bad guy. I like, I like everything, but, you know, bad guys are just more fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you get, you get to bring in a whole full character. Right. Nobody bothers you. Everybody's bothering all the leads, you know. <laughs> Nobody bothers you. Yeah. You show up and you do your stick and you're out. You know, it's awesome. I love it. I love it, too. Yeah. Well, you know, you once said, <laughs> you once said that, um... I don't look like a leading man. I look more like the guy who will fix your car than steal your girl. Yeah. And that's hard for me. To, you did this wonderful uh, uh, film with Annabella Shira and uh, yeah. Matt Dillon, and you were so uh, charming. Like, I would fall yeah. in love with you. And uh, so what do you mean by that? Well, 
I, I don't see myself as, as a leading man. I guess that's what I meant. I mean, I, I think that statement is still true, other than stealing the girlfriend thing. <laughs> I still think I Can you like fix the car, Vincent? I can, no. No, but you know, so it's not you know what? Certain You've had so many great parts. My favorite, I think I told you a long time ago, was you as Abby Hoffman. Yeah, you love I mean, yes. it was just, you were spectacular, but you were great on Law & Order. I mean, I missed oh you. Oh, my God, Law & Order. Because I came to do your show, and I didn't get to play with you. You did? Yes. I didn't get it. With I... Jeff? Say it again. With Jeff Goldblum? Law and Order? Oh, well, I'll tell you after. Oh, Go ahead, Mark. Okay. <laughs> well, we just love you, Sorry. and we've run out of time, and I wish I could talk to you forever and ever, but we'll do so off camera. Yeah. And you are going to be just have this stellar career forever and ever and ever. So thank you for coming. And uh, our thanks to Vincent D'Onofrio, his new action-packed film, Run All Night, opens this Friday. Go see it, and we will be right back.